All right, so we are starting at the opposite end of the bridge now. Yesterday, which is the first part of this video, it just got too light and too cold yesterday. <laughs> and today is about 15, sunny, actually probably almost like 20 degrees actually with the sun out. But anyway, uh, we were right here yesterday in the video and now we're here. <laughs> so we are starting from this end of the bridge, walking back to the car, which is in a designated parking lot for this trail in St. Jacobs. So I'll just uh, cross the rickety bridge over here, just on the side, I just had to step over it, just to kind of show you. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's a lot of horseback riding here, hence all the mud right here. Uh, this is where they cross. Um, if it was warmer yesterday, I probably would have just literally walked across here to finish the trail, but it was like, <laughs> it felt like winter yesterday, so that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> and we didn't put any uh, summer shoes on today. Yeah, well I would have just took my shoes off and walked across. Then again, there might be like horse poo in there, <laughs> <So>, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, here's the bridge from this view, sorry, this side. And we are headed back to the Health Valley Trail, which is right here, uh, short form HVT. This trail also goes this way, it just does a loop. And there's people coming. <laughs> Farmer's Field over there. Maybe we'll just, wow, lots of people coming. Alright, so, now I feel like a dork. Okay, these people are literally just crossing it and they didn't fall or anything. So I wish I'd known that yesterday. It does look rickety, but these people are literally just crossing it. <laughs> see, you'll probably see them in a minute. They just walked past us, we were kind of joking. No, they're thinking about it. Oh. oh, are they gonna do it? Pausing. I don't know. The other people did. Anyway, back to the trail. <laughs> So here's a view of the river.
people from. So it could be homeless. I'm not sure. <laughs> He's friendly though, either way. Yeah. What's it doing? It's coming back! <laughs> I think we just found a new pet. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it belongs to the farm over there. Because he keeps looking over there. Perhaps. He's a nice dog. But like at the same time I'm looking at it and like it has such long hair and it's matted so it almost looks like it's homeless or it's been out here in the wild for a while. It seems calm. Yeah, it's definitely calm. Like it, it's, it likes humans because a lot of humans are walking past. Like I'm scared of dogs. And it, yeah, Avery's scared of dogs. I, I'm not running right yeah, He kind of looks like my kitchen mop a bit. And when he walks, it's, like, I don't want to say that, but it kind of looks, you know, looks like my mop is walking away. But he's, he's really friendly. I think that type of dog is actually called a moth dog. Yeah, something like that. I can't even see his face. Okay, yeah, you don't come too close to me. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Moth Dog. We'll probably see you on the way back. Poor thing can't even see. I think this might be the owner or somebody rescuing the dog. They just took the Moth Dog into their vehicle. I hope it's not their dog because it is messed up. Like, they definitely are not taking care of it, so I'm hoping it's just somebody rescuing it to take it to a vet or something. Trees. What? It's driving by the trees. Oddly, and it's also, I don't know if it's just a hill, but it's slowing down now. Okay, so this lady was yelling at the poor thing. Like, the mop dog. And now it's stopped. I'm videotaping this just for purposes. Yeah, we see you, lady. She was yelling at the poor thing. It's definitely not somebody rescuing it. <laughs> it could barely like see. Like, she drove across. Not only did, like, this definitely is not her farm. I spoke to the guys that are on the bike down there. And, like, they were staying there with it for a bit. Just to look at it like we kind of were. And, but yeah, this lady was horrible to the poor thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not, like, a big fan of dogs, but... Like, I felt bad for it. <laughs> like, no animal should be treated that way. And if that was their pet, I don't know what they did, but that dog couldn't even see. Like, the fur was so matted, it was longer than yeah, Emmy's hair. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was just, that was ridiculous. Anyways, on to the tree.
Red Wing Blackbird. <laughs> So we're at a trail crossing, uh, the Great Trail, which is where we're going, uh, back to the car in St. Jacobs. Uh, Health Valley Trail and Avon Trail is where we came from. Also yesterday, obviously, we we're on the other side of the bridge for the Health Valley Trail. Um, obviously, uh, one and a half kilometers back to the car, to the parking lot there. Four and a half kilometers to Rim Park, which is where we parked yesterday or the first half of this video. Also, the notice of the trail being out, which some people still cross, <laughs> which I probably would've just did. Um, apparently there's a coyote in this area. We never saw it, but there definitely is. So it's great that they have that information, just in case you do come across it. Instead of a coyote, we saw the mop dog. <laughs> so it was still kind of cool. Anyway, back to the trail. Oh, one thing here. Hi, Avery. Hi. Uh, that actually goes to uh, the farmer's market in St. Jacob's. All right, so we're just going to take a little water break here at the bench. There, I'll show you the view of the water. But first, I just want to show you a plaque. Definitely pause the video to watch it, or sorry, to read it. <laughs> Right here uh, to my left there's actually a dog park so it's definitely great to get your pets out back to the trail the little girl on the bike she was probably i have an elf in the backpack Mimi. which it's avery's Mimi. but we also carry it just for when, like not this type of trail but when we're in the wilderness and stuff like a more footpath type trails just to kind of wildlife kind of scares off a bit so we we carry the elf <laughs> but yeah the little girl is like oh it's a daddy it's an elf and then we thought he said alfalfa like from the little rascals movie but then we realized that he's like, oh yeah, an elf. This is the elf. <laughs> we named him Poopsies. <laughs> so we're just like alfalfa. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of like a funny, a funny thing though. But yeah, the little girls look at the elf. 
Caterpillar. So we found a little TP. TP for the PP. <laughs> Not that type. <laughs> flowers which are really nice. We're not sure what it is but it's really nice. Alright we are at the trail head of the St. Jacob's side of it. I just kind of saw this and it was really nice. It's uh, celebrating the quilting making in Waterloo which they put Waterloo County but it's actually Waterloo Region so I'm not sure. They just screwed that one off <laughs> I guess. Anyway. We'll go to the other side, I think it's the same if I have the sun that goes through it. Yeah, I can't really see it from this side. Um, it could just be me thinking this, but there's a lot of people out today. And I just, we, like me and my kids kind of noticed that a lot of them are kind of like rude here. It, again, it could just be me thinking that, but like, like we've said hi to everybody, and they no, nobody says hi. They look like I don't know, like just the expressions on their faces too. They look a little like angry almost. I don't know. Like I wasn't filming, so it's not that. But there's just a lot of like snotty people here, I guess, <laughs> which is weird because we were on the other end of the trail uh, yesterday, like the one in the first part of the video. And everybody was like super friendly. Maybe today is just an off day for people, I don't know. But there's, yeah, I just, I don't know, maybe it's just today. But anyway, yeah, you can observe for the people that are going on the trail. Like what I will say is like there are a few people that were really decent. Like about five minutes ago there was an older man that came to talk to us and he was really decent. Like I find the elderly people on the trail are really decent. They say hi, they smile, but like the rest of the people are really snotty. <laughs> yeah, newer people. Yeah, like younger. I don't know. Like I said, it could just be us thinking that, but I don't know. Like here's a little fun here that anybody's been on the trail definitely comment on like how you feel when you're on it with like people because normally on trails I find people to be a lot happier and friendly this is definitely definitely an exception on this trail because it's the opposite and I honestly like I almost want to turn back just because the feeling you get on the trail from the people but we are going to continue on. Hopefully it gets better the further we go. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. But anyway, uh, back to the trail. Alright, so this is actually the start of the trail that we were on yesterday. Again, first part of the video. <laughs> the Health Valley Trail. And aside from what I was saying before, once you get over here, the people are a lot nicer. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe it's just because it's near the city. Uh, I don't know, maybe people think it's Monday today. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. But there's definitely a difference. <laughs> this one's more in the country, kind of, so I don't know what was going on there. But we'll stay in the country trails. <laughs> people are a lot nicer. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's the end of this video. See you in the next one. Bye.